Hello and welcome to Introduction to ZBrush 2020. I'm Madeline Spencer and I will be your instructor in this, the most comprehensive video training series available for Pixelogic ZBrush. We'll start as though you've never touched ZBrush before with a quick start tutorial. In the quick start, you will sculpt a creature bust from a polysphere. You'll learn about Dynamesh and subdivision levels, the ZBrush interface, as well as navigation. Moving on from quick start, we'll take an in-depth look at the ZBrush interface. We'll talk about how to customize the interface and customize hotkeys, how to make our own brushes. We'll look at alphas, various sculpting tools and techniques, nano mesh, array mesh, insert multi mesh, and much, much more. Those of you interested in 3D printing will be excited to hear that we have a chapter dedicated to preparing our models for 3D print using the ZBrush plugin in Decimation Master. Not only does ZBrush do organic modeling, it also does hard surface. We'll look at the co most common tools and techniques used for hard surface sculpting inside of ZBrush. We'll look at Booleans as well as polygon modeling with ZModeler, the Topology Brush, and ZRemesher. Now ZBrush is not only a powerful sculpting tool, it's also a robust 3D paint program. We have in-depth tutorials on poly painting using Spotlight, UV Master, as well as a demonstration of how to paint a creature skin from scratch using poly paint, as well as projecting photo reference to create a human skin texture from photography. We also look at the ZBrush renderer. I'll show you how to customize materials, customize your render settings, and how to create light caps using HDR images inside of ZBrush. We'll also look at the ZBrush to Keyshot bridge, so you can see how to take models out of ZBrush into Keyshot and render them in lighting environments and materials. We're also gonna take a look at what's new in ZBrush 2020. Exciting brushes like the extractor brushes, the history recall brush and deco brush, as well as new tools such as adjust poly paint, as well as mask by poly paint, setting pull direction and finding mesh thickness before 3D print and much, much more. It's my expectation that at the end of this video series, you will be a confident intermediate ZBrush artist. You will be able to accomplish whatever type of sculpting or painting task you want to undertake in ZBrush 2020. So let's go ahead and get started. I'll see you in the first lesson.